we are here in a OR room with a robot arm based on Mako from Striker, as you can see. And we are here uh, prototyping how a robot shoulder could help surgeons and how difficult this can be. So we have here a patient in a big chair position. We have the first doctor, the first auxiliary right here. We have a second auxiliary right here. Here we have the, the tracker for the navigation system. So it has to be some, some vision for the navigation system. Here we have some drapes to uh, get in trouble. Here we have the scapula, as you can see. This is the axis for the scapula to perform a reverse total shoulder autoplasty. So we are going to drill like that. And this in blue, we can see this is our approach. This is the area that we will be able to work with during a shoulder atroplasty. The first thing that we can see that the robot is a little big, so it's, it's heavy. So for the surgery, if we choose having another one helping here on the side of the patient, just like that, and I have another one helping here, it will have very limited space for the robot, as we can see here. So there is no enough space for free to perform the surgery and a robot. It will be very hard to the robot to, to, to get on here. So with that, we need to remove this person right here. So we have to remove it. And now first we have plenty of space to work. So this doctor will have to hold the retractors and this doctor too. And here we have the robot. Let's move to another scenario. So now we have here the robot in different colors so we can move different joints. And this is one of the scenario that we can imagine the robot going. So it will move this arm and this arm, but it will be difficult to reach this specific uh, inclination just doing like that because it will have to do like that to do the specific location and what I imagine is the robot doesn't have this kind of reach using this tool and it cannot tilt like that. It have to tilt just like that. So it will be difficult to, to perform in this way. We will we'll miss uh, leverage. This is one problem. Then we can change for with using that image. So we can move the robot arm in 90 degrees, just like that picture and just like that picture. And then we can have with 90 degrees, we can see right over here. So with that, we can achieve some kind of good inclination to get to the, to the scapula. But the robot will have to go far away. So for that scenario, it will be in important to the robot to get closer so that we have a robot getting closer. And that is how we imagine a robot arm performing the surgery. So here are my hands. I would have imagined that this joystick is my hand. So I would have to hold like that and perform the surgery like that and have this joint movement and this joint movement forward to do the procedure. Uh, I think it can be done, but it probably would be interesting to have some adjustments on the joints to have a better approach.